Now to some new developments hours after George Zimmerman's controversial online gun auction came to an end. Zimmerman is now posting online about the sale of the gun used to kill Trayvon Martin. News 6 reporter Nadi Nianis has had her eyes on the auction all day and has been working to find the new gun owner. Nadine, was this sale even legitimate? Well, Lisa, at 4 o'clock I told you that United Gun Group said that they had two auctions going on, one that was public and one that was for pre-verified bidders. Well, I actually found out that the public one was fake, that this one was actually a fake auction open to the public. And United Gun Group does confirm that they have an actual offer for Zimmerman's gun of $120,000. George Zimmerman says he's thanking God his online auction to sell the gun he calls a piece of American history was successful. A piece that United Gun Group confirms to News 6 had at least one verified offer of $120,000. A seemingly successful auction after two failed attempts on online sites. The first time by GunBrokers.com who didn't want anything to do with it. The second time it was pulled off the United Gun Group because fake bidders brought the price up to $65 million. But according to Zimmerman, the third time was a charm. The auction, which started at $100,000 Tuesday morning, ended today at noon, where at 11.59 a.m., a bidder by the name of John Smith sniped in with a bid of $138,900. No word if that's the winning bid, but we do know Zimmerman has one verified offer through United Gun Group. The online marketplace says they had two auctions going on at the same time, one with pre-qualified bidders and the other open to the public. George Zimmerman also addressed the auction on his website in a statement in part that reads, quote, first and foremost, I would like to thank and give the glory to God for a successful auction that has raised funds for several worthy causes, end quote. It continues to say the process of notifying the winning bidder will begin immediately. And again, we just learned that this public auction was actually fake the entire time. Now, I emailed Zimmerman today to see who the winning bet actually went to and how much it exactly went for. He responded back saying he will only give us an interview if we meet his stipulations by putting him up in a four-star hotel and paying him $1,000 a day. Lisa. That is certainly not going to happen. Nadine Yanis <laughs> reporting live for us. Thank you. And you can get more on this story, including previous stories about George Zimmerman on ClickOrlando.com, powered by News 6. You will find the story on our homepage.